Radars, sonars, infrared cameras and so many other devices we invented to locate what we want. They all sound very high-tech and we mistakenly believe that they are the pinnacle of artificial creation as opposed to natural evolution. However, it would be a good idea to hold that thought. Nature had already come up with these things millions of years ago. There are countless animals that have developed incredibly sophisticated organs to help them locate their prey and detect their surroundings. These are every bit as high-tech as our own devices and in many ways perform much better than any man-made machine. Hello and welcome to 7 Fact. The first example of a high-tech detector is the oh-so-weird platypus. I say weird because it is. It's a semi-aquatic, duck-billed, beaver-tailed, otter-footed, egg-laying, venomous mammal that lives only in Eastern Australia and Tasmania. And as interesting as this animal is, it's another feature we're interested in today. The platypus uses electrolocation to catch its prey. Its large leathery beak has thousands of pores containing electrosensitive cells. These cells can detect even the faintest electric fields generated by muscular contractions, such as a heartbeat, a shrimp swimming or a worm crawling. By moving its head from side to side, the platypus can accurately determine not just the presence but also the source of an electric field. This way, it's able to eat nearly its own weight of prey every single day. And it does this without sight, sound or smell. The platypus closes its eyes, ears and nose each time it dives. Pretty impressive. Speaking of electric animals, let's talk a bit about the famous electric eel. The electric eel has three pairs of abdominal organs that produce electricity. The main organ, the hunter's organ and the sock's organ. They make up four-fifths of its body and give the electric eel the ability to generate two types of electric organ discharges, low voltage and high voltage. To catch their prey or defend themselves, electric eels can generate up to 860 volts and one ampere of current. This doesn't just stun the unfortunate victim, it also interferes with the prey's own nervous system so it can't escape or making it move involuntarily, thus revealing its position. High voltage pulses can be released up to 400 times per second. Basically, the prey is electrocuted just long enough to be eaten. But even when they are not hunting or feel threatened, electric eels still emit a constant charge of about 10 volts, which acts as a kind of radar. And if you're wondering, yes, an electric eel can possibly kill a human. This of course depends on the size of the animal, but a single joint received from an electric eel can incapacitate you and you could drown because you can't use your muscles. Multiple shocks, though, could cause a person to stop breathing or even go into heart failure. It is rare, but there are a few documented cases. What about dolphins? What's their special ability? Well, you know that clicky sound they make? That's basically their own version of a sonar. These clicks are among the loudest sounds made by marine animals and are used to locate prey. But it doesn't just give them the location, but also the size, shape and the structure of the prey. And since dolphins are among the most intelligent beings on this planet, they can interpret this information to determine whether the prey is calm or scared. They produce these clicks in their foreheads in a mass of fatty tissue called a melon, which focuses and modulates the animal's vocalizations and acts as a sound lens. When these clicks hit the surface of an object, they reflect back. The dolphin receives these reflections and interprets the information in a fraction of a second. Of course, we all know that dolphins also produce very sophisticated whistles, but that's for communicating. Before we continue, I'd like to ask you something. This channel has no sponsors, so if you enjoy the content I make, please consider supporting these videos by becoming a patron. 
You can check out my Patreon page by clicking here or find the link in the description. Okay, now we can move on to the next fact. Another animal species that uses echolocation to navigate the world and find its prey are bats. Most of them hunt at night and have poor vision, however, they emit ultrasonic sounds to produce echoes, much like dolphins. By comparing the outgoing pulse with the returning echoes, the brain and auditory nervous system can produce detailed images of the bat's surroundings. How detailed? They can accurately locate even a moving mosquito. Sometimes you might hear a part of the sound they emit, but the range of frequencies can reach 100,000 Hz, way beyond the range of human hearing. They don't emit a single sound, but rather pulses of sound. These pulses are emitted 5 to 20 times per second, increasing to 50 when they're near their prey. When this happens, a bat can determine the size, texture, speed and direction of movement of almost any object. Right before they catch their prey, the frequency goes up to 200 pulses per second. They use the Doppler effect to determine location, speed and direction. One of the most iconic living creatures of a forest is an owl. Despite their cute appearance, these guys are vicious predators. They also use sound to catch their prey, but they don't emit any sounds. Rather, they use their entire face to capture even the tiniest noise. The typical shape of an owl's face is designed to capture and amplify sound, much like a parabolic antenna. Owls are able to detect even the tiniest delays of sounds reaching each of their ears. Those ears are also at slightly different heights, and so owls can analyze sound location both on horizontal and vertical planes. This is an incredibly useful tool. Even in complete darkness, an owl can easily and precisely hunt. There's one animal you might not expect to find on this list. A tick. A member of the arachnid class, thus related to spiders, scorpions and mites, ticks are among the most dangerous parasites to humans. Not because they're vicious predators, but because they are disease carriers. But they are also a masterpiece of evolution. The way they detect their prey seems to be taken straight out of a James Bond movie. Ticks have an organ called Haller's organ, which can detect odors and chemicals emanating from the host, as well as sensing changes in temperature and air currents and perceive infrared light emanating from a host. The organ is located in a tick's forelegs and really don't look like much, but without them, ticks would probably go extinct. When they detect a possible host, they jump on it, use other sensory organs to find the best place to settle in, rip open the skin and start feeding. Their saliva also prevents blood coagulation, so no, they won't start to death as long as they're on a host. Scary, but also fascinating. So we've talked about a few of the prime examples of high-tech locators that our nature has to provide. However, there is one animal that outranks them all with a set of instruments that's pretty hard to beat. A shark. Over the course of hundreds of millions of years, sharks have developed not one, but a whole range of detection systems. This is truly an apex predator, and as far as we know, no other predator has such a variety of detectors at its disposal. From a distance, a shark relies on sound to find prey. Low-range frequency sounds, such as the ones produced by an injured animal, can be heard by sharks from up to 2 kilometers. This immediately gives them a direction. From half a kilometer away, they can already smell the blood and other bodily fluids, which narrows down their search quite a bit. This sense of smell is hard to comprehend for us. They can detect one part of blood in a hundred million parts of water. That's 0.000001% of blood content. From 100 meters, sharks can detect even the faintest changes in pressure and water speed, such as the small movements of a fish swimming. They do this with the help of the lateral line, a system of cells similar to hair cells designed to detect pretty much anything relevant. 
Once they're within 25 meters from their prey, they use their eyes to detect any potential victims. Their eyes are specially designed to function in low-light environments, basically capturing every available photon. Right before they attack, sharks close their eyes or roll them into their sockets to protect them, but they don't go in blindly. The so-called ampullae of Lorenzini found on the snout can detect up to one millionth of a volt of electricity per every square centimeter. These are the greatest electrical sensitivity systems of any living animal. With them, a shark can detect a heartbeat, a slight muscle movement or even a standing still but alive animal. They also use them to detect Earth's magnetic field that they use for orientation and navigation. If you're searching for a masterpiece of evolution, this is it. A shark is one of the most efficient living organisms created by nature. I hope this video was interesting enough to have inspired you to look into it further on your own. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe. You can leave your comments downstairs and you can also check out my Patreon page if you want to support me. The link is in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.